Hey, what's up guys, it's the number one pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a quad chem strike. Four chem strikes in one game for those who are unfamiliar, and it's on Sovereign, not on Strike Zone guys, so, you know, before slapping that dislike button because it's Strike Zone going up A2 all the time, as in the staircase by the way, then you can hold back because it is a different map, a different change of scenery for a change, so you know, give the game a chance, I mean, I'm trying to, I actually insisted on trying to play Sovereign, not Strike Zone, okay guys, I do think of what you guys think in the comments, I mean, I know a lot of people, I usually get like 60, 70 likes on these support gameplays, which is kind of interesting, because I do get a lot of comments saying, mm, don't like support gameplays, blah, 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 but the overwhelming majority do like it, so, you know, I'm going to do one of these once in a while. But for those that don't, you know, aren't particularly interested in it, then, you know, I'm not going to spam you out with quad chem shots. I'm pretty much bringing the most variety I can possibly bring you. Live gameplays, solo gameplays, unique gameplays and support gameplays are probably the best I can give you guys. For now, unless someone else, you know, comes up with a different suggestion. But uh, it is with the Honey Badger with the Kiss of Death camo. Just thought I'd add that on because the Kiss of Death camo is kind of an interesting camo. It was interesting to me anyway because I kind of hopped in a clan uh, who was at level 20. I can't remember what it was. It's a clan that my friend was in. He invited me to. And then I left straight away because I didn't want to do clan wars or whatever. Because uh, I couldn't really be bothered. I mean, I'm not really going to gain much from it to be honest. Um, in terms of gameplays, and I got a free camo out of it, so I just left and thought, oh, I'll take that, and then I just remembered I had this game, uh, camo today, and I hadn't used it in many other gameplays, or if any, so I just thought I'd slap it on, and then I get a quad, I mean, it isn't the reason why I got the quad, but um, it's a cool addition to, you know, to make it look, you know, a bit more cool, I guess, um, <laughs> anyways, the gameplay is pretty good, I mean, it's obviously it's supported, as you would, I mean, don't sound surprised, obviously I'm going to get a quad solo, not on will, I mean, if anyone does then you're absolutely astonishing at the game, but it's it's not going to happen really, I mean, as I said, if you do then you're a beast, but, you know, until then. Uh, so, obviously I'm going to give a shout out to the six man team that I was playing with, who came under the names of Riz, Insomnia, Zombie Killer Da, It's Reaps, and... Pavi, who I don't know actually, he's one of Riz's friends, but I'd like to thank Riz first of all for, you know, organising this because we did a six man the day before I got this gameplay and he was running spawns most of it, which is which was fine with me, I was pretty happy with it actually because I already got a gameplay that I wanted to, um, I'm not going to give it away because um, I got gameplay whilst running spawns for him, while well, meant to be running spawns for him and um, you'll see that probably in the near future, not straight away, but sometime in the near future anyways. So look out for that, it's a really, really cool gameplay. And yeah, so he let me go first this time, so cheers for, his, for letting me go, because I called this one out, I said, man, can I go for it? can I go run spawns this one? He's like, yeah, sure, sure. And he helped me get the six man together, so awesome job, Riz, of that. And he's actually getting close to 4K subscribers, so please go check out his channel in the description. I'll drop a link bang in the top of top line of the description so do not hesitate to click the subscribe button on his channel and I'm not joking man you really really need to man he's got some insane gameplays I'm not just saying that because he's helped me out I mean he's a good friend of mine and I know I, I wouldn't ha add him if he was bad obviously he's he's a really good player as well um, I'd like to thank Insomnia for helping me get my quad chem uh, the, fourth, the final kill for the fourth chem strike should I say he got the assist that was critical and you know got it for me because you never know what would happen if I didn't get that assist counts kill I could have died but it's whatever man he did help me with that gameplay so cheers man for that uh, I'd also like to thank the zombie killer um, I don't know where the, he was holding off but uh, he did a good job of it um, it's reaps did a really good job of holding down control he had probably one of the hardest spots to you know contain um who had like you know it, there was a spawn point there and he helped me out by help making them not spawn behind me which was really really awesome of him he actually volunteered to hold that spot which was really nice of him so cheers roots for that and there was one more who was one of riz's friends as i said riz helped me get the six man together 
Um, I think his name was like Pavi or something. So if he does end up watching this video, then cheers for helping me out as well. So that's it for the team, I guess, and the gameplay. I dropped like 115 kills. That's not exactly great for supports, but it's not exactly good at all. I mean, I've dropped more than that unsupported. I got triple chem unsupported. I don't know if I leave a link in the description for that, but if you do, it's definitely on my. If I don't, then it's definitely on my channel. Uh, so go check that out if you haven't, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen that gameplay anyway, so it's not too much of an issue. So what I'm going to jump into in today's commentary topic, I've got 12 minutes to talk about something, and I don't think I'm going to make it through all 12, so don't hate me if I don't, but today, for the duration that we'll talk for oh yeah by the way just about the gameplay um it, it did slow down the first two chem strike streaks were relatively quick they're about two and a half minutes a piece but they really did slow down because at the end we were ending up playing against one person uh or two or three towards the end it ended up being two people which really really did annoy me i was really a bit angry with that but uh i got quad i could have got so so much more quarter penta or a hexa if everyone was in this game, there was so much potential, it was unreal. But enough about the gameplay for the last time. What I want to talk to you guys about today, just to fill up some time and just something I want to talk about in general, it's the World Cup. And the reason why I'm going to talk about that is why not? Why not? Because it is a trending, you know, event in today's, you know, society, I guess. I mean it's worldwide, it's a worldwide trend. It's something that happens every four years so it's something people look forward to every four years and something I've been looking forward to actually because I've only recently got back into the sport of football or soccer if you're watching this in America and yeah I mean recently not recently but uh, for the past few years I've been not exactly into football I can't I was really really a bad football addict when I was like 10 or 11 I collected trading cards I collected merchandise and everything I couldn't, I sleep, whatever the bloody phrase is, sleep, drank, eat, slept, whatever, thought about football all the time, it was unreal, so it was, it was, <laughs> I was kind of an addict to football, and I kind of eased off it in the past years, because I did realise that I was becoming a bit, you know, sad in that sort of sense, so I backed off it, but I'm starting to get back into it, but not to, you know, the ex excess that I am, that I was back in the day. But um, I'm really in, in tune for the World Cup and I'm actually looking forward to the outcome of it because there are really, really strong teams and it's actually team teams, I say, I meant team teams that are, that do have potential of winning. There are actually a lot of teams that can do well um, from the likes of Germany, Spain, uh, Holland or Netherlands, uh, Argentina, Brazil, because they've got that home support, and they actually do have a good, strong team. Oscar has been playing amazing, actually. Who else? Um, Argentina, if I didn't mention mention them. Belgium are actually a good team. They're a team that you should probably watch out for. I'm not going to mention England because let's be honest, they're not going to win it. They lost to Italy. I mean. To be fair, they shouldn't have really lost. I mean, Italy did put away their chances that they got. I was getting really frustrated in that game, actually. But, um, you know, I pulled through. It was kind of annoying the way we lost. Um, because Balotelli literally only got two chances. One of them, he almost scored. It literally went on the line. But Jagielka cleared it. I think it was him, anyway. And then the other one was a, a uh, header that he put away really well. But... Uh, the team, the, the best player in England, I think, has played so far has got to be Sterling. Sterling has been absolutely phenomenal so far. England have so, so much potential in the future. I'm not even joking. Maybe not this World Cup. But for World Cups to come, they've got a really, really good team. Um, really, really good youth players. That can do well in the future. But um, personally, if you just ask me, England, I think, will finish probably some place. I, I think they'll get through the group stages, they'll probably beat Uruguay and Costa Rica, uh, not much problem there, but um, I think they'll pass through the groups, but I do think they're going to struggle in the last 16, they may, may, may reach quarterfinals, but I can't see them getting any further than that, because of the great teams that do have potential of winning, then if you just ask me the question of who do I think will win, my answer to that will probably be, I don't know why, but I'm thinking Argentina. I don't know, it's just something that's spinning in my head. 
it's just something I have been thinking about. Argentina have got a really, really good team. I think Brazil will do well. I think they'll probably hit the semis at least because of the home support. And once again, they do have a good team. It's not all about support, but that is a really, really good backing stage of trying to do well. I think Holland will do well because they destroyed Spain, didn't they? 5-1, that was ridiculous. Um, Germany, I don't know, man. But Germany probably do relatively well as they always do strong team Spain will probably pull through they'll recover from that defeat I'm pretty sure Argentina I think I do well as well obviously as I said I think they'll win they've got a really really easy group they should have absolutely no problem of trying to get through that Belgium I think they'll probably cause a few shocks actually with a couple of teams and uh, yeah that's basically it I hope you enjoyed the my little talk of commentary and the gameplay if you did um, enjoy please please drop a like rating let's try and hit make this video hit 50 likes that would be absolutely amazing if you guys could and if you have watched this far because I know I've been talking for 11 minutes straight straight then please drop a comment saying hashtag I am bored because you all probably are but uh, that's just for reference there anyways but thank you so much for watching guys have an amazing day I'm going to drop some music because my throat's about to die and I will see you in the next video peace Tear me apart, tear me apart, watch, burn, tear me apart